Number one, use them with a balloon. Altogether, the Rohogs have 2400 health, so they're immensely tanky and they pressure alongside the balloon. Number two, cloning them at the tower will result in an astounding 424 DPS. Number three, combine the hogs with the graveyard. It will be too difficult for the enemy to focus on the deadly graveyard and the quick hogs. Number four, they should be used on the opposite bridge of your large push or when the enemy drops an expensive unit. Number five, use them with the lumberjack. His high hit speed and damage takes care of distractions and his death rage makes the royal hogs deal 336 DPS. That's about the same as elite barbarians. Number six, think of them as not only attackers but as mini tanks as well, both on offense or defense. Number seven, they're a good tool to bait out buildings. Use them in the beginning of a match and once the building's gone, use your win condition. Number eight, hate spawners, drop them at the bridge and they'll rip it apart. Number nine, use the royal hogs with a miner but make sure the tower locks onto the hogs first. The miner will continuously attack unharmed while they also worry about the hungry hogs. Number 10, when the enemy has a pump in front of their king, drop them here. You could simultaneously attack both the crown towers and the pump. Number 11, if you need to distract enemy supports behind a tank, you could drop the hogs to kite supports away while you remove the tank. Number 12, unleash the hog army by using royal hogs in the back and the hog rider in the front. When they approach the tower, the royal hogs will surround and protect your hog rider while also dealing tower damage. Number 13, a great way to protect your split three musketeers is by splitting them at the river to cover both sides. Number 14, place the royal hogs here to kite a mega knight and deal tower damage. And number 15, to counter and distract a mortar, place them in the center. Two hogs will attack the mortar and two hogs will distract.